Aries, this is your January mid-month quickie, your little check-in here. We're starting out with the energy of the situation or the past as disappointment, the Five of Cups. And it's funny because it's more that other people are looking towards you as to what's wrong that kind of feeling as though people are saying oh what's wrong why are you you know looking like this or why and i heard that song it's from jesus christ superstar and oddly it's like a mandala effect for me because i just looked it up and it kind of that upset me because i thought it was what's the fuss tell me what's happening but apparently it's what's the buzz i'll well, do a video on mandala effects some other time but um it's as if people are saying to you aries you know What's right? And you're getting kind of annoyed because I feel as though it's sort of obvious to you as to why you're a bit annoyed and you're just a bit disappointed with something, some, someone perhaps. It's um, got the kind of Mars in Scorpio uh, energy there too. So it could be a Scorpio. This one is the present, the obstacle or what is going on in the present situation is your art temperance card. So Sagittarius energy here could be that involved. And it's the way that you can overcome the situation in your highest energy to get into this Ace of Cups energy, which will be a wonderful way of, of ending this scenario. So this is look at this it, the angel balancing her energy so aries sometimes that fire that you have in you can snap back at this kind of energy and you can you find it hard to sort of temper uh, your emotions and you know people can annoy you so having that one foot in the water one on the ground and feeling balanced and creating this alchemy which is happening here. You can see the, the black and white cups here and you've got this yin and yang symbol. You've got steam coming up here, sort of fire and water opposing energies blending together. That is what is going to really help you to come into your ace of cups, beautiful energy here. And if it's emotions, then that could be you know, the right kind of relationship coming to you because I love this. I've got uh, the lotus here, you know, drawn here and I, I picked that up because of the the sun and moon tarot, uh, the actual illustration that is the two of cups. You can see the same uh, depiction, the same sort of energy here with the ace of cups, the same qualities here. So you've got the love heart, you've got your sun rays coming up here, rainbow, you know, beautiful energy here that can come in. So everything is going to be emotionally settled. And well, once you get through this little bit of tricky energy, you've got a message here for the four of swords as well coming through for your affirmators tarot and i'm going to read out the message that's in the book but you can see again what do we have here this feels to me like that same lotusy sort of energy but you know it's almost a sunflower but it's got the colors the same colors that we're seeing there so it just really reminded me of of that and it's the the four of swords in the traditional deck is, is a card of, of rest and recuperation. So this message from the Affirmators Tarot says, whatever challenge you've just been dealing with, rest assured it is O-V-E-R, over. And then there's a little disclaimer for a minute at least. Life has called a time out so you can catch your breath and you'd best make the most of it. Get some sleep, eat a vitamin, Take a rejuvenating bath, whatever you need to do to get back to your bright eyed, bushy tailed self. And that's how I feel like you're quite tired, Aries, because before you know it, life's going to blow that whistle and start trying to reverse roundhouse that tail again. And this time you'll be ready to end things quickly. So the little mantra that we've got for you to say Aries is I rest my mind and nourish my body knowing there will be plenty of time to feel like trash again later <laughs> I think to feel like there's joy again later but that's a funny one uh, like the kind of tiger energy as well for you because that's fiery like a Leo but also one that needs to have um, 
you know, needs to have rest to Aries. So, you know, your kind of lion and tiger energy can't go on all the time. You still need to balance it out with a bit of, you know, relaxing, relax your mind, try to to answer people with, with a more balanced uh, emotional energy. You know, don't pop off too much or you when, when people have disappointed you. Aries, I'll catch up with you again. Please like, share and subscribe for more content and I'll speak to you soon.